Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be talking about quick measure suggestions. So quick measure suggestions is a feature that you can create the DAX measure using natural language instead of using the DAX quick measure template. So the quick measure it's easy, but with the suggestions, it's even easier. So you can create easily your measures and you can see the DAX formula as well, which you can modify. So let's get started. But before that, if you are first time here on my channel and you didn't subscribe my channel yet, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button as I upload Power BI videos regularly on this channel. So let's get started. I'm going to open up Power BI and let's learn how you can use a quick measure suggestions. So here I'm in Power BI and first we need to have a data. So I'm going to use this sample data. So you can click on this if you want the data and load sample data. Now I'm going to select this financial table and load. Now the data is loaded and let's expand it so we can see the data and what columns we have. So we have year, we have sales price, profit, segment, unit sold and all that kind of data, gross sales, discount, country, cog sales, date, etc. So now let's click on this quick measure. And now I have this quick measure pane and you can see that here the first step we have a calculation where you can use the quick measure template and you can carry out the calculations. However, in this video we are going to learn these suggestions with Copilot. So let's click on that. If it is not enabled for you, in that case you need to enable it from the options. So you can access the op by clicking on this gear button here. And on the global, you can uh, select these preview features where you will find quick measure suggestions. You just need to check that if it's not checked and then click OK. In my case, it's already checked. So I can see this window here. Now you can use this feature to create the measure using a natural English language and the calculation can be like any kind of aggregation, count of rows, aggregate per category, per product, etc. You can carry out any mathematical operation, selected value kind of calculations. You can use logical conditions with this. You can use the text operations, time intelligence functions, relative time, you can also use a top and filtered value and any those kind of calculations carry out using these quick measure suggestions. Now let's get a matrix and let's plot some data. So I'm going to use a country and sales. And let's increase the font size so we can easily read it. And now let's get a slicer so we can slice the data by year. And let's increase the font size there as well. Now, now we have slicer as well, which has 2013 and 14 data. And we have countries like Canada, France, Germany, Mexico, and United States. And we have some of sales. And now using a natural language, let's get some calculations. So I'm going to type here sum of sales for Canada in 2000. 14 and then let's click on this generate and now we have an answer so this is the suggested value and if you can see the DAX measure formula as well that it used the calculate function and sum of the sales 
and then keep filter uh, function used to filter the data by country is equal to Canada and year is equal to 2014. So let's add this measure to your data model. So let's click on add measure and now let's rename it by giving a name Canada sales 2014 and let's enter it. And now let's filter the data by selecting 2014 from the slicer. Let's uh, look at the value here. So the Canada sales is about more than 19 million. And you can see the same value you can see here as well. So it does exactly the same calculation as our manual calculation. Now let's use this measure in the same visual. And so this. So you can see that it exactly the same answer as our manual calculation. Now let's add a logical condition in the query. So I'm going to use if Canada and as soon as I type in CANA -A, it shows Canada sales 2014. So let's choose that if Canada sales 2014 is greater than so we know that Canada sales is more than 19 million so let's put it here if Canada sales 2014 is greater than 20 million then return high sales so let's put it high sales in double quote else else in double quote low sales and let's generate it so because Canada sales is less than 20 millions it suggested the value low sales and it created the measure as well like this so you can see with the quick measure suggestion you can do a lot more than you think and it really a great help in creating uh, measures and understanding how it writing the DAX for the query. So guys, this is all about how you can use the quick measure suggestions with the Copilot. If you like the content of the video, then please comment, like, share and subscribe my channel. And thank you for watching.